To all my women out there, today we are going to be talking about the basics of the female menstrual cycle. And I know this seems something that you've probably learned time and time again, especially back in health class in public school, but I'm always surprised at the number of female patients that walk into my office that have no idea how their cycle is working and what they can do to make sure that it gets better. Because I tell you ladies, you shouldn't even notice your cycle happening. It really should just come and go like any other day. And unfortunately, I would say 90% of the patients that I have have severe PMS symptoms, cramping, breast tenderness, back pain, heavy flow, irregular flow, clotting, and all those things really shouldn't be there if you are as healthy as you want to be. And I know you want to be 100%. So I just want to introduce myself. I am Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor and the creator of the Maxim movement where together we try to maximize on your hormones in order to maximize on your overall health. And the first step to understanding how to maximize on your hormones is to understand the female menstrual cycle. So here we go. The female menstrual cycle is split up into two phases. The first phase is called the follicular phase or the proliferative phase. This is where the follicle that's housing the egg is growing, getting the egg ready for ovulation, which happens usually and should be at day 14. And then we enter into the second phase, which is called the luteal phase or the secretory phase. During the luteal phase, this is when the lining along the uterus, which is what gets shed at your menstrual cycle, is developing, getting a lot of blood vessels, because if you're trying to get pregnant, when we have the egg released at ovulation, that egg is gonna then implant on the uterine lining, and we need all that blood flow to be there to give nutrition to the egg so we can have a, a nice, viable embryo growing, and then that will turn into, of course, a beautiful baby by the end of nine months. So these are the two main phases. And the reason why this is important to know is because our hormones work differently during those two phases. So the first phase is very estrogen dominant. And it's because estrogen is the woman's neutrifying hormone. It gives the egg everything it needs to grow into a beautiful viable egg. So that by ovulation you have, you know, the first half of a healthy baby and you just need sperm to finish the job. The second phase is very progesterone dominant. And this is a phase that's very, very important to understand. Progesterone is what helps to maintain that uterine lining to keep that lining nice and healthy and viable for a potential pregnancy. So when progesterone goes down and estrogen starts to creep up, that's usually signaling your menstrual cycle to start. So one thing I find with patients that are having mid-cycle spotting, usually that's not a good sign because again, estrogen is what triggers the menstrual cycle. So for spotting mid-cycle, your estrogen levels might be a bit too high and it's throwing your cycle off. For those women who have had miscarriages or multiple miscarriages, often we find it's because your progesterone levels are too low, thereby meaning that the lining isn't able to uh, neutrify the egg and then often um, a miscarriage will happen because they know that the child isn't going to be able to come to term. So if these things are happening to you, you may want to look at your hormone levels on both sides of the cycle. The other thing I want you to know that's very important is your basal body temperature changes over your cycle. So your basal body temperature is something that you can test every day simply by putting a thermometer under your tongue first thing in the morning before you even move or get out of bed. And you will find approaching ovulation and at ovulation your body temperature will spike about a degree higher than normal and it will stay high so long as progesterone is high and that um, lining is viable. So again, if you're looking to track your ovulation, basal body temperature is something that you can use to naturally see how your hormones are working. Ovulation is a very high movement action, so it's gonna spike your body temperature about a degree or so, and then it's gonna to continue to be high if you have a successful implantation of an egg because it's gonna to continue to grow, continue to prol proliferate, and that's gonna also cause your um, basal body temperature to rise. And this is a really simple and easy way that you can start monitoring your fertility and even just your cycle in general to see how healthy your hormones are. 
So as long as you can remember that there's two phases happening, that the first phase is very estrogen dominant. If we have too much estrogen, we will start getting our menstrual cycle too early, or we'll get some mid-cycle spotting or the lining of the uterus will be very weak, and we can even get spotting a few days before our period is to come. And then of course the second phase is the progesterone phase, which is very important when it comes to fertility, making sure that that lining grows nice and thick and is nice and healthy for that new baby if that's what we're going for. Um, and multiple miscarriages and issues with the lining is usually related to progesterone. One of the reasons why progesterone gets low and a big focus in my practice is something called estrogen dominance. And I have made another video about weight gain due to estrogen dominance, which kind of touches on that subject. And I'd encourage you to go find that in my Maximize Your Hormones playlist. Of course, if you have any other questions for me or concerns, do not hesitate to ask. Again, I am Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor the creator of the Maxim Movement, where it's our goal to maximize your hormones in order to maximize on your health. My contact information is coming up next. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. I put a video up about once a week, so definitely join our subscription list there. And then, of course, visit my website so you can see even more wonderful and free health information. It's been a pleasure, and as always, have a happy and healthy day.